morning. Okay, the last time we did a page from my Etsy shop, we did this one. Okay, so if you missed that, you can go back and look and find it. Um, if you still can't find it, let me know and I will post it down in comments. Now here's the one we're going to be doing today. So um, you can do whatever colors you like. My main thing is I want to make sure you get the shading so that these ornaments looked cupped and rounded. So let's just start with this one. And I'm going to pick a couple of greens. In fact, I could actually do a different color this time. Um, let's, let's go different. Let's go something in the teals. 68 and 62 and I am working with my Marco Renoirs okay I really like these so flip it over 68 and 62 back over and really, I'm just going to start in doing with the lighter color. I don't have to be overly neat on this. I do need to be sure and leave some white area where that tooth is, anywhere where there would be shading. So I'm going to leave more on this side open and then more down at the bottom and right up under the lip because if this were hanging oh poor choice on my pencil but see how this side's dark and how it's darker down here at the bottom well here it's I want all my shading to be on both sides so that it's rounded okay just like where is she when we did the little girl with the teacup do y'all remember that I have so many pages piled up here from what we've been doing. Can't even find anything anymore. Okay, you're going to have to do, just kind of work with me on that one. I, I don't see it right there. So whenever we come in and shade then, see how that's up underneath this? Okay, and then this goes around the side so it's darker. Then I get lighter as I come in, come back with my lighter pencil, and I can shade this whole thing with that lighter pencil, just blend it out. And when I print off my pages off Etsy, I, um, I do just use cardstock that I get at the craft stores. I wait till they're $2 a package and then I'll buy a couple of packages of the white so that I have it to do any of the um, coloring pages that I'm working on. See, just coming around. I'm going to leave it lightest right down the center. So I'm not looking at each individual piece. I'm looking at it as a whole. And I'm on this one, I did more each area. I'm just, I'm choosing to do different on this one. I just want to do it a little bit differently. So just another experiment, so to speak. And see, this one's going to have even more of the dark on it, so I don't want to get much in there. This one's going to have even more dark because it's off to the side. Okay, this one's going to have quite a bit of dark. So I'm just putting some light in there to get it going. And I might have actually put too dark right here. Let me blend that a little more. I just want to make sure that there's a stripe of the lightest light going down through that middle. And then it's going to really get darker as we go to the outsides. 
so that it looks like it's rounded. And yes, thank you, I did set a timer in the kitchen so that um, it will go off before my camera clicks off, hopefully. And see, this is pulling your eye to the left to make it look like it's more rounded. And I am doing this whole thing in this color, but I'm making sure the left side of it is quite a bit deeper than the right side. Just getting lighter touch as I come around to the right will give me that lighter effect. Okay? Again, we're trying to push the left side back so that it looks like a rounded cylinder shape. Remember when we did our candy canes, we shaded down both sides. Essentially, that's what we're doing here, but we're shading with the pencil as we go. And see, I want this to look like it's curved under, so that's why I've got dark down there at the very bottom. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Now, if I'm doing mainly down the middle light, then that means these are going to be a little more dark already. Okay, does that make sense? Because my center is right there. So anything to the right and left needs to be a little darker. So I'll just do a little bit of light here. And then it'll get darker as we come over. That's right, that means these are going to be, let's see, these are going to be almost totally dark. I will put a little light here because that's still kind of close to that center line. And if you need to, you can lay something there while you're coloring to remind you where center is. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. You do what helps you. I just really want that to appear that it's going around there. And then lighter touch. That will help with the blending. Darker further. And then lighter touch as you come in will help you with the blending. I know I just said that, but sometimes you need to hear it two or three times for it to actually click in your head. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all learn differently. As I come down, I want it to look more wrapped under. So I came in just a little more. And these are not finished. I'm going to come back and blend with that lighter color yet, remember? blending with the lightest of the colors that you're using. But now this should start taking some shape. See, these are going to be totally dark because they're wrapped around. And if you have trouble figuring out which one of these gets done which color, oops, I missed one, then um, it's like a checkerboard that's been skewed a little bit. So it's all the points, where they meet up at the points is where you're going to have the same colors. So this is not a difficult page. It's a little involved, but it's, it's not nearly as involved as my page with the... Um, candy canes and the cookies and the ribbon candy. That was a very involved page. This one's not going to be nearly so involved. So there's one. Let's get this one up here. And I try to do them a little different since this one, the outside two are done. On this one, I'll go, instead of going the outside big one, 
I'll go the outside on the other side littler one. And that's all going to be shadow dark because this is over the top. And then I'll just use this to blend just so it's not totally one color. Okay, and then this is middle. I'm debating on making that. Yeah, that needs to be just a little bit lighter at the bottom. And I don't want that purple coming off on my page. So did you see how I did that? Just cleaned my eraser real quick. That's one reason my fingernails look so bad. Sometimes I just take the clippers to the nails and say, that's enough, start over. <laughs> I don't have a lot of, whoops, wrong one. Don't have a lot of patience with um, makeup and all that stuff. I'm pretty much a what you see is what you get kind of girl. And there we go. Just the outsides, just a little bit because we're right down the center of this. See, this one does have a stripe down the middle. Okay, makes it a little easier to, to locate. Just blending. And see the points touch. So I know this one's next. This one's gonna have more blending, so I don't wanna cover it up too much. Same here, just enough to get a little color in there. And this piece is going to be totally dark because it's back behind this one. So there's that shadow that got cast. So this has cast shadow and it has the curve of the ornament. Okay, here's a shadow here because this one's in front of this one. So it would be casting a shadow. Are you beginning to see when I say something's casting a shadow or something's behind something else? Are you starting to see that? For some people it takes longer, so don't worry about that a whole lot. Just um, keep working at it. So now we've got some dimension there. Let's go over here to this one. Okay, I did the two outsides. So this time the two outsides are gonna be the opposite color and I'm going to do the darker in the middle again. The darker. I mean the, the color that we're working on, not the darker. Just the color. And then what's in the middle is going to be lighter. So it's going to be lighter on this edge. That will be lighter there, right down the middle. So let's look at what's center. And then this one, okay, we're touching the points. So this is down the middle-ish. I know I didn't draw it perfectly centered, but I'm trying to get out of that everything has to be balanced all the time. So it's, it's served me well for years but it's time for me to loosen up a bit. And if I try to keep in that all the time, I'm not going to get there. So, all right, so see how that center? That's the lightest area. Now I'll put a little more over here, but not a ton. Just enough I can blend in some. and just meeting up with my points. In fact, this one's gonna be almost totally dark. This will have a little bit of light here on this side, and then get darker as it goes over. This one's gonna have a lot of dark on it, but I want a little bit of light so it doesn't look just totally awkward. Okay, changing over to the darker, getting up in there, Oh, 
not happen to do much blending there. This one, I think that one can stay. Let's put just a little bit of dark here, just a bit, just so it's not a solid color. Then we've got this on the sides because it's wrapped around. Remember I said it would be almost totally dark. Dark, just meaning the darker of the two shades that I'm using. Little circles will go a long way in blending out, especially if you have any scribble lines. Slow down, go back in, do some small circles. It will help take care of that. That can go dark. This can have some dark down here because it's starting to go under some. It's going in as it tapers down. This is starting to wrap a little bit. Now I should have taken into consideration what my other color was going to be because if it's lighter than this I should have done it first. It's easier if you'll do your lighter colors first, then they don't streak through the darker color. But I feel like this color is light enough that I may go a darker color. And um, let's actually look at the color wheel in a minute and see what color is crossed from this because we know it will complement it and be a good color to use. Just getting these deeper shades in. I know most of you have said you like the real-time videos. And when it's a sheet that I've actually made up, I feel like you get a little more into my head if I go ahead and do the whole thing with you. Okay, just going to come back in, make sure everything is blended. I find that this paper is good for running off. It doesn't have too terribly much tooth in it, but it's got just enough that it does let me lay down some nice color and do some blending. I did pick up my last package of paper, not this one, but the last one that I just bought. I got it from Tuesday morning and I will not be doing that again unless it's for scrapbooking. It's not, it's just not as heavy of a paper and I find that I can't erase on it like I can on these. Okay, so do you see how that is center on each ornament? Each ornament is going around and I still see a little bit of line there. Let's see if we can get rid of that. Okay? All right, I'm stopping to look through the camera. If you'll look through a camera at your work, or if you'll take it to the big mirror in the bathroom where it's a lot of bright light, it will help you to be able to see what you've done that's maybe not quite right. And I do not see my color wheel right here, so I will push pause and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I just have to tilt the camera and show you the mess from the last video. Guess where I found the color wheel? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, dragging this back out, making sure that this is going to sit still and not fall off. Okay, we're all steady again. Okay, so we used this color group which is right here so if I want to know the next best color and we're falling not good come on I am so sorry hang on there the camera is on a clip that is then clipped to the back of a chair with a long gooseneck and sometimes it just gets kind of tilty but anyway um, we were saying 
we used this color scheme in here. And we really used the colors on this, this side, which are numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so actually not even 1 so much. Very little of 2, so let's say 3 and 4. So if we take this, put the black arrow on it, go all the way across. Oh, and I don't care for oranges. But you know what? It says that's what we need. So 3 and 4. Whoops, it's actually open to this. So I like number 16 and number 4 is more of an orangey orange. And 28. Did you see how I picked those? So 16 and 28. And it looks like that's a drastic color change, but I think we're going to be okay with it. Wrap the colors back down. 16, 28. And there's two colors between, so I should be able to blend these all right. I don't usually go more than two between. It just kind of messes things up. So now we're going to do the same thing. Oh, and see, the colors do look nice together. This is down the middle, so I get to keep this basically all in the lightest shade. Again, these are my Marco Renoir pencils. Lovely, lovely set of pencils. They are... Okay, now we're starting to wrap a little. Um, they are an oil base. That's not to say they're greasy. They're not. It's just they use oil in the making of the pencil instead of wax like the Prismas. Also, they're not just a regular, what you call a water-soluble. That's not the same as a watercolor, okay? So when you have pencils, now I'm not talking you through this. Hopefully you're seeing what is center and following along. Um, you have basically three types of pencils. There could be more, I don't know. But you've got a water base, then you've got your oil base, and your wax base. The Marco Rafines have a little bit of oil, but not like these. These Marco Renoirs are just so totally more that they're just really creamy. It's like using stick butter or tub butter. This is tub butter. Yeah. And then your um, Oh, let me think. Your Prismacolors are wax base. You get that waxy buildup sometimes that's not fun, but it just happens. Okay, and then you have your Faber Castell. They are also an oil base and they are creamy. They are almost just like these. So for the cost, I much, much rather recommend these because these are so much cheaper. I did get these off Amazon. I think it's a hundred piece set in this book for $59. So, and if you can't find the link to that, let me know and I will post it in comments for you. And you see here I'm getting the darker and I've got to really get lighter as I come in. My little circles, see how well that's blending? Oil base. I'm telling you, it makes all the difference. Now this is not only wrapping, but it's behind this. So that's why I'm going dark here. And then I'm going to start my circles and come in. Um, now I was saying the water-soluble pencils. That would be like regular Crayola colored pencils that you get off the shelf for your child for, for school supplies. 
okay? And I actually have some in my art kit, so it's not just for children, but that's that's more like what we think of. Then there's, um, now that's a water soluble, not to be confused with a water color. Water colors come in little tubes, they come in little cakes, they come in pencil form, and they will actually say water color. It's not the same as water soluble or water based, and I know that can be confusing. Trust me, I understand. I bought a set once that said water soluble, and I thought I was getting water colors, and I ended up with another set of colored pencils. I was able to sell them to a friend, and they were a really good price, but I was a little disappointed that I ended up with a second package of what I already had when I had thought I was getting some watercolor pencils. And I'm not a big watercolorist, but um, it is something I want to venture into with my coloring. So you may say, see me take the deep plunge in the next few weeks and try to do some of that. Now I'm still looking here center, it's the lightest. The darker is over here on the side as it's wrapping around. Darkest on the edge and then blending with those circles getting softer as I come in. Do you see how this ornament is starting to take shape? It's starting to look more rounded. It matters not which way you do your circles. I'm going clockwise, going counterclockwise. It's just whatever feels most comfortable to you. I think most right-handed people go um, counterclockwise. I'm not sure if it's just because we're right-handed. But I'm wondering if it's just good exercise to go the other way too. I don't know. <laughs> the things that my brain comes up with while I'm coloring. It could be a little darker down here because the ornament's starting to go down and under. Okay, so hopefully you can look at this now. I'm just coming in with the lightest color of the two and shading just to make sure this is all shaded in nicely. You always come back to your lighter color. You can use a blending stump or a stick, blending stick, um... I just, I personally like to come back and use the actual pencil. That way I'm still adding color instead of just smearing around and lifting color. So, to me it's just easier to do this. So you do what's easier for you. It's your page. You do what you like. I'm just here to help you learn where the darks and lights are today and how to make it look rounded. All right, so now that whole thing should look a little darker on the outside edges than down the middle. And we're almost through our 30 minutes. Um, do you want me to wait on you for the others or to go ahead? You know what? This one is done just like this one. Okay, nothing is over the top. Let's do look at this one, though, real quickly because there's parts that are tucked behind. So this is center, so right here can be lighter. Right here can be lighter. Right here can be lighter. And right here a little bit. Now the thing is, this is behind this. So that's gonna be dark. Then a little bit of dark here because it's wrapping around. Dark here, because this is on top. So it's casting a shadow back on this. This is wrapped around, so it's gonna be the darker. Then getting lighter as we come to the front. This is underneath, 
So this is going to be darker. Then this is darker over here, getting lighter as we come to the front. And I do need to blend still. I just want to get this through so you can see it. I'm not sure why my timer didn't go off yet. Okay, so there's that one. Then we're going to come in and we're going to lighten the entire middle of these ornaments when we come back on the next video. And when we come back, I'll have this one finished too. So I know this is going to cut off in a minute. I'm just going to color while we're waiting. Okay, light down the middle. In the comments, I'll put the link again on where to get this coloring page over on Etsy. It's a dollar and a half. So it's not that big of a deal. I would rather spend a little bit of money on a page I really like, though, instead of purchasing a book where I've got the whole book and then I'm stuck with all these pages I don't like because I don't feel like I can throw them away. Um, I do a lot of giveaways whenever I do my coloring classes here. So I do put my books out for that. There goes the timer. But I still feel like sometimes it's a better buy just to buy what I like. All right, so you're going to cut off, and I'll be back in a little bit. Down through the middle is the lightest. Shadows. And then wrapping around. Great lesson in doing things that are round, getting those rounded shapes. This entire page is going to be awesome for that. Teaching tool here. <laughs> 